Joining us on the Informer, Harry and Tash from the block. Hi, guys. Hi, George. How are you? Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, have, have, you <laughs> have you got back onto the normal clock? Have you got uh, adjusted to not having to live with Dad? Uh, and, and, also, and, and also saying to Mum, it's okay, Mum. It's okay. <laughs> what have you two yeah, learned? What, I, Atash, if I miss, if, let's start. What did, you, what did you learn from your experience with Dad? Um, I have learnt from this experience that my father is a lot clumsier than I realised he was. <laughs> and I've also realised he's a little bit frustrating to work with, even though I love him. <laughs> did you love him even more? Because you guys, you guys did, did have a fantastic journey. And let me tell you, the product that you've, you've finished uh, delivering um, looked so magical from so many different perspectives. We knew that there were unfinished bits because of the timing and so on. But from what we saw and the, the way, the lie of the land, and can I just tell you, some of the judging can be so patchy. It's a bit like the paint job. <laughs> a bit like the paint job. You look at it and you go, are you serious? That garden, that entrance way, that is beautiful. And, I'm, and I put it to you, in three months' time, six months' time, people who will walk in there will go, this is just beautiful. Did you get that feeling? Yeah, you know what? We, 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 uh, look, when we, um, the, the, the day we finished the front and we actually turned back just to look at, look at what we produced, uh, we, we, had, you know, we, we, we were so proud of what we actually produced and we thought we'd do quite well that, that day. And I suppose coming back after the judging and, and getting the criticism was, uh, you know, was, was hard. It was hard for us. It was hard for our trade to, who put an absolute massive effort to do what we, we had to achieve in the front yard because we had. The, look, I believe that front yard of ours would, would have been twice the size uh, and a lot more complicated than the others. And um, but look, that's that's the block. That's what we're given. So we had to try and deliver and, and deliver a, a, an amazing front yard and to. I think also to respect the era of the house, and I thought we did that. The judge didn't think so, but I think we did that. Yeah, look, I, I, I put it to you that we had some inside knowledge from friends of ours who uh, you know, work on the block and uh, were part of the real estate team with you guys, and they loved everything they saw. Um, and um, for them, they were enormously proud to help you guys deliver it and help you guys sell it. Um, what was the buzz like in that last day? Was the anxiety levels going through the roof? Is this the last day of the yeah, the actual show? auction? Like the actual filming? no, the actual uh, auction. Actual Ooh, auction. Yeah. It's so funny. That morning, I didn't wake up feeling very nervous. I think because I hadn't quite hit that today's the day. <laughs> um, it wasn't until we sort of all gathered and um, Jazz and Luke sort of walked off to do their auction, and that's when it kind of hit. Um, and it just went so quickly. Like everyone says to us, you know, really enjoy this moment. It's going to go really fast. But you're like, oh, no, nah. like, yeah, we know it'll go fast. But in the moment, it just feels like it's going so slow because of the anticipation. But once that first auction kicked off and they obviously got such an amazing result, we were getting really, really nervous. And, um, yeah, the, there was definitely a big buzz. And it's just, you know, you see everyone's reactions on TV of how they're reacting to everybody else's auctions and, it was just tenfold even more what you saw on TV, everything that we were going through um, when the others were having their auctions. It was just such an amazing, like euphoric feeling once everyone got an amazing result. And, you know, I think what everyone would have experienced at home on their couches was exactly what we were experiencing plus some. Like it's just, yeah. yeah. And I, yeah, I think the, um, I think the auction episode really, was was probably one of the best episodes I think I've ever seen of the block. It was yeah. just amazing. It was uh, really beautifully done. It blew us away watching each and every one come and go. You went, oh my goodness. Uh, Harry, what did you learn? Uh, is it much easier to live with your daughter than uh, you know in your early days as a young man? Because you knew what she had. She's a smart woman. She, you knew she could source material if she needed anything. So was it an easy gig for you? You know, it was um, it's well, look, uh, look. I knew I know Natasha's work work ethic. What was um, really what surprised me is her resilience. Yeah. And the fact that she was able to, in 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 a lot of, lot of times, which you you they didn't show because there's only so much you can show on TV. The amount of times she actually um, pushed me through the night to finish, because you can easily give up 
and say, listen, I've, I'm done, I'm finished. It was, you need that person to be able to push you through. And I think we, I think we both did the same for each other. Um, and look, the, the, I think the result speaks for itself. The, the, look, the auction result we got, I was, I was blown away on, on, on that day. I thought, I thought we'd struggle. To be honest, George, I thought that um, going last was yeah. going to be a struggle for us. Uh, but the fact that we, we were able to deliver a beautiful home that's got north-facing side yard and some some aspects that the others didn't have, um, you know, I think you know that it, it got it got the the justified price for it. Harry, that kitchen of yours, that perspective through that side with that beautiful tree, that is magical. I mean, you guys you know, need to be very proud of oh, what you delivered. You know, you, there were other know, we, homes we, there that had features, but if you ran from the front door to the back door. Um, we saw great life in it. My wife is particularly uh, tough and she loved so many elements in that house. You should be very proud. Taste levels, Tash, by the way, uh, very much appreciated throughout the house. Well done, bravo. Not easy to do. And, and I've always known the Cypriots are a tough gig. Uh, always, always they want to finish on top. Um, but have you still got Dirty Harry t-shirt, Harry? <laughs> You know what? <laughs> and there may be something in the winds, George. You never know. Ah. I get... I, mind you, I, I think you and the cape also a very good fit. Superman, <laughs> Super Harry, bravo. <laughs> okay. You're a Harry. <laughs> okay. Now, how did mum? What did mum? How did mum rate you guys? You know, she. I suppose you want to talk about mum, Tash, or can I talk about it up to you? You can talk. You can talk about mum. Look, look, mum was concerned, obviously, going in into uh, onto the show on how we'd be perceived as as a, as a you know father daughter thing and you know one thing she didn't want uh, was um <clears throat> to us to be perceived poorly yep um I think that was the case i think from what 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 feedback we've received i think we've been pre perceived quite well and i think we've got a lot of fans out there every time i go to oakley <laughs> you, mean, the, you mean you mean you mean little athens little yeah. athens yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> everyone says, and I think Natasha gets it as well. We love you guys. You're our favourites. Blah blah blah. blah. Well, I think it's nice to hear. It's. I think it basically it shows that we, you know, uh, we were perceived the right way. And what you see on TV is exactly who we are. We're yeah. that. We're that that, that. that people. From our perspective, uh, we saw uh, a, a, a great love from father to daughter. Great love from daughter to father. Yes, you had your challenges, yet you had struggles, but there are so many young men and women who have their days with their parents uh, and, it's a, and it's a battle, it's a test, it's a, it's a will of words and a will of wills sometimes. But you guys blossom through it too. You know, and that at the end when you got the money uh, and you got the number and you, you, you were telling us just what it meant for both of you, your son and your daughter, and uh, that, that for me is a huge win and you should be enormously proud. And as for the community, uh, they love you, mate. No, no doubt about it. And Tash, uh, you you done good, girl. Very good. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Well done. Thank we're, you. We're extraordinarily Thank proud you. of you. Um, once again, here's the question I'm going to leave you with. Would you do it again, Tash? <laughs> <laughs> do you know how many people ask me this question? That's why I'm asking I... you. Look, I look, I love the experience. The reason I say I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't do a full season again purely because I love dad and I, we worked really, really well together, but I really miss my partner. He's my everyday support and not having, you know, being with him every day for three months was really, it was really, really hard. Um, um, I would go back and do an All-Stars week, yeah. whatever it is. Um, <laughs> but I don't know if I would go back and do a full, full, full season of it again. Okay. Uh, Harry, would you take your wife in and do a segment? It's, it's funny, George, I actually had that conversation with her probably a couple of weeks ago and yeah. I I'd actually wouldn't mind doing it with her because she'd bring definitely a different, completely different style and everything and uh, I think we, we would be different obviously, obviously to each other. Yep. Um, I would actually, I would, I would bravo, consider bravo. it. But so. okay, let me take this opportunity. <laughs> but would she do it? Uh, <laughs> smart girl. Uh, <laughs> let, me just, let me just take the opportunity to thank you guys. Um, one, for doing such a great job on the block. And you know, television is an extraordinary thing. At the end of the day, you were the first, the first, like I was the first newsreader at SBS, you guys were the first 
uh, father-daughter combo, and I reckon you nailed it. And you gave us the full gamut. When you won, you won with joy. And when you, when you were uh, you know, having, uh, having uh, those special uh, opportunities to, to sling a little bit of stuff, I thought it was great too. No, no, it was great. <laughs> Colour and movement, you gave us all. So, so Tash, oh, we wish you continued success. Uh, we look forward to seeing what you do next. And Harry, you're always a guest and, and always welcome. You both are on the Informer and whatever else you need to do. Uh, if there's anything we can help you with, let us know, okay? All the best. Thank we'll you look. again. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Thank you so much. Yes, Pivia. Bye-bye. Yes, yes. Yes, yes.